safe house besides Heather and your kid. Something about that sounds fishy to me. I guess you won't ever know until Heather can talk again. But what did your son say about it? He told me the bird did it. He said the bird lit a match and chased Heather with it. A child's imagination. I'm thinking he just blinked it all out. But he was found on the street standing there during the fire. Hmm. He must have ran out when he saw the fire, you know. Children are scared like that. I don't like noob doggies. Mesh doggies are better. How did you get my number anyway? Hildegard, why is Becky Sue moving in with you? No offense, but Becky ain't never liked you. Why in the hell would she want to move in with you? Look, ghetto trash. Becky Sue is starting a new life and selling a huge house. She wants to start fresh, far from her ex and that dingbat girl he's with. You know, she still wants to crack his head open, but isn't interested in going back to jail, you know. Look, Tina, I know you care about Becky Sue, but she's better off with family. And I don't appreciate you starting fights and getting my sister locked up. Rebecca is moving in with me. What's it to you? You never come around unless you want something anyway. Now wait a minute. You think just because you hang around my sister and date someone relatively famous that all of a sudden you're important? How did you get my number anyways? 411, bitch. And you're the reason she had to go to jail. Running your mouth off to the cops like you was a witness or something. Knowing you arrived after the fact. Now put Becky on the phone before I control or delete your ass. Look here, Heifer. I wonder how anyone would even want your crooked face. Your days with DP, I'm sure, are numbered. Don't call me again. Bye, Felicia. That dried up old spaghetti eating, she gets me every time. Damn it, she hung up in my face. Rebecca, I guess living this privileged life isn't good enough for you. You just had to go out and find that lowlife Richard. And had a child by him, too. Oh, darling, it's going to be okay. Don't you worry. Your life with him is all over now. I'll get you in tip-top shape so you can get your son back. That old goat is out of your life now. We'll start fresh. Jeffrey, darling, can you get Rebecca's bags, please? There, there, stop crying. Tina, look, baby girl, don't you worry about that surgery. You know DP got you. DP got it all paid for. You're going to have a new nose, a new mesh head, everything. I just need to transfer a few lenders into my account. I have my people call your people, baby girl. Thank you, honey. When you going to let me move into your mansion? When I put a ring on it, baby. Bye, sugar. I love you. Don't worry, DP. I'll be ready tonight for the concert. I just have an appointment with my doctor. Then I'll stop by your mansion 
I love riding in your car. Of course you do. Everybody likes riding with DP. I'll see you later, Tina. I got business that I need to do. And can you please tell your mama to use some air freshener next time DP rolls up? That house smells like... Nah, I better not say that. <laughs> Bye, DP. Love you, DP. Man, I'm trying to tell you. If that surgery don't work, I'm going to have to shake that chick loose. She ugly. But DP would do anything for their number one fan. But she is ugly, man. It looks like Tina has a famous boyfriend. And David has a new pet friend. Even Becky Sue is starting anew. It seems like for once, everything is going great. What a great time to be a pixel. We'll be right back after these messages. We interrupt this program to bring you a news bulletin live with Ermin Chooseworth. Hello, this is Ermin Choose Wiseword, and I have a special news bulletin for you. Um, Ermin, you want me to let you know when your bus was arriving? Your bus um, is outside right now. Um, actually, I think it's leaving. Oh, no. You mean to tell me my bus is here? I got to go, yo. I'll see y'all later. Stop! Say, me need you tell me what up with that child. Don't give me all that doctor, patient, privacy babble. This important. Me know you are seeing Tina, and me know you saw that child. Me feel he present all true here. Mom, why do you keep putting me through this? You know I can't tell you anything. Doctor, patient, confidentiality, okay? Hello? What's the problem? Just because you're having another one of your wild-eyed visions doesn't mean I have to tell you anything. This is my career, Mom. You ran off Dad with that spiritual babble. Now you're trying to do the same thing to me. See? Shame on you, boy. You made me say it. Gonna throw your daddy in me face like that, huh? So you all grown now, huh? So grown don't gotta respect your mama or dada no more, huh? And you want to face that wicked child all alone? Well, fine then. Mama or Dada will let you then. But mark me words, boy. Me not let that crazy, ill child take me only boy away from me, even if he is hard-headed. So go on then. Ma <sighs> Help him heal his crazy, worthless mind. But when he bring tyranny upon your life, don't come crying to me over this and over that, cause mama or dada, she be done, you hear? Me not be disrespected no more. See? Look, mom. Uh, did I come at a bad time? Hi, mother or dada. Where he be? Where's who? Look, mom. You know I love you, right? I'm sorry. I, I just got to tend to my patient. Are you going to let me do that? Please? Mm. <sighs> me just want to make sure that child not with you. As for me, son, me never be coming back to your job, Sathaniel. Tina. Oh, me poor child. Oh, me got to get out of here. Who let her find her skirt? Doctor say, is Mother Odetta one of your patients too?
Oh my god! Is that Prim Prim? Oh my god, what happened to you? You're in pieces! Who did this? Are you dead? I gotta call daddy. Hun, I think we have a problem. I don't know if it was some burglars or our neighbors, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. But it looks like Prim Prim was attacked. Oh, so you're on your way? Good. See you soon, babe. Who was that at the door? Hi, David. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, I just wanted to sing you a song. I sing it to my stepmom every time I visit her. Your stepmom? Where is she? Oh, she's still in the hospital healing from bad burns. You know, you should get a mesh dog. I don't think you can unlink them. Are you going to open the door? Bye, David. I think you should leave. Come inside, David. It's time for dinner. You need to go home, you little devil. I mean, I mean, little David. Uh, right now, go. You need to go. That wasn't very friendly. Father, those neighbors need a lesson. May I give them one? <sighs> Son, stop talking foolishly. <sighs> Let's go eat, David. Dear, something is not right with that kid. I found Prim Prim unlinked in pieces, and now we have to take him to the Prim shop to get him relinked. No, that kid's brain needs to be unlinked. I found graffiti prims all over my car. Spent half the day getting them removed. It cost me 750 L's, baby. None of this was going on before they moved in. I'm just saying. Babe, I think we need to put up a fence, maybe even a wall. A nice tall one between us and them. Now this is an unfortunate turn of events. Why on earth is David standing in his neighbor's room? Are you curious what will happen next? Stay out of my business, or you will be sorry. And on that note, until the next episode of The Mesh, The Bold, and The Beautiful.